Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la boom. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just... Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down!
Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Chris Redfield and Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Sent you. Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I?
gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. <sighs> sure, we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry! Hurry! <coughs> Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. <sighs> <sighs> uh, he's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe? There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow, tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana. That's enough. This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, 
They kept coming. Wait, Louisa. Like, where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me that. Um bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. You're kind. Come on, it'll hold. There, that's our way out. Thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. 
We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? <gasps> Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name? Father! Wait, it's not safe! <laughs> <laughs> Stay there! Come on! Give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, don't give up! Reach for me! I just don't get it. This place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? Shit! Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> when you're whining, we're almost there. <laughs> Dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn up! And don't be a sore loser! You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision! You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep growing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, fight, fight! Hey, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for winning. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you can do. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No way!
I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. <laughs> Udama! <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Ceremony. That man will pay for what he's done. Oh, shit. There you go. All this for a child who isn't even here. What the hell? You ungrateful, selfish wretch. You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters. And now you even try to steal my. Robbery! How dare! Like I'd let you get away. 
You'll be sliced to ribbons. Before you ever see the chuckles. Night moon rises on black wings. We await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died up at that castle. Tell me, what is going on around here? How can a man be almost dead? That's a question for the wise. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> You're too late! Or maybe almost too late. The child will be sacrificed, life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crests of the four bloodlines may open the path you seek. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. That was familiar. Hey, hey, wait! There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's a value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. Flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Rose is. Don't say another word! This. This is impossible! This just can't be! Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Oh. Who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. 
You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. He'll pay you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fuck, Joker. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the doll maker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dang old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Huh. Don't leave. I can't let you. Oh, you're still alive. Huh? <laughs> oh, my friends, you murdered our you. <sighs> Tick tock. Your life's on the line. Wait! Oh. Oh. Things right. What? I'll just be taking this. What? 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 What are you doing with Mother's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me! Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I, I do better than them... What do I care? Wait, just a little longer. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plugged away. What do you think? 
Something? What the fuck are they doing here? Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job! Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. But my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. Stay out of our business, Ethan. What's this? God, watch out! Change what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts. <laughs> Let me guess. Your thing. Take me out like the others, and then he gets going save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you got the soul wrong. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry, but I'm... Take a seat. Listen. Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! 
Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly ass psycho doll. An ironic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well fuck them! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. Son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. I might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. 
Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight. All right, Ethan. And you take this, and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't You're a death rat. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> I've waited so long. The dreams really can come true. Vessel 
I can't wait to see my true child. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Say, hey, got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on. Together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Hey, Alpha. reaching the objective. First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Every Go and watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Alpha to squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony. <laughs> Show me your hands! Um, Bryce, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? is you. I'm glad you're safe, Mia. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! 
You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Uh. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh. See? Messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. Rose. Yeah. How do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. 
family. Family. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. <laughs> I will save Rose. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who, what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. Ah, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you?
Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I'm in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. He is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Yourself. Now, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. Goodbye, Rosenberg. Go, take us up now! going on where SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ.
king of the earth.
little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is. Last week, I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. <laughs> 